Go, go, go. Go, you fuck! You stupid shit ass dick! Ugh! Hello, friends, my name is Brandon Date, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Vive Le Roy, or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, because the title's in French. I do know it means Long Live the King, roughly translated. But, um, yeah. This story's supposed to be based on, like, the French Revolution and stuff like that. This is the punishment that I get for, uh, not doing my research. <laughs> They're like, do you want a key? And I'm like, it's about the French Revolution? Hell yeah, I do. And, uh, it turned out to be not really what I thought it was. Uh, but I guess that's partially my fault, you know? It is, uh, a mobile game that was transported to PC. Doesn't really translate that well, uh, so it's gonna be completely mouse-based, which is a little bit frustrating. But, uh, here's some backstory for you. The guillotine, which was used against all enemies of the French Revolution, was the instrument of over 10,000 deaths. The bourgeois was the real winner of the revolution as it came to power and gobbled up the assets of the clergy and nobility alike. The common people got very little out of it and got the feeling it had been fooled. Change history and save the king. Okay, I I'll try. So it starts out relatively simple. There's a bit of a difficulty spike over around level 3 or 4. But that's mostly because it's super hard to tell what you can interact with and what you can't. Your cursor will light up, um, but yeah, it's not the greatest thing ever. That guard is snoozing, so there we go. Rescue the king, get three stars, level one completed. Wonderfully done. So let's try uh, level two now. And there's a guy, he's gonna be patrolling. He's got a gun, so if you, uh... If you get in his way, he'll fire his little rifle, and then you'll be fucked. The king will be executed summarily. Alright, go over here. There we go. So it seems kind of weird to me, like, uh, I'm not sure whether they can see you in the shadows or not. Sometimes it seems they can, sometimes it seems they can't. Level 3 features a barrel. Isn't that going to be so fun? Here we go, just get up there, push that barrel. That's how we do it, kid. And that's gonna open the gate. Very nice. It, uh, kind of stopped rolling exactly when it needed to. As you can tell, it's not, um... It's not an extremely complicated game. Unfortunately, the art style has been uh, a bit overdone as well. I'm not super impressed by that. Level 4. This is one that I had a lot of trouble with because I, uh, didn't realize you could hide behind this... This fucking... Crate. But that is what you need to do. I'm going to open the gate here. This fella's going to go down the ladder, and I need to hide behind the crate. There's also another uh, gate here that I need to hit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's do it. There you go, kid. You're doing great things, all right? Is he climbing the ladder now? Okay. Should be climbing the ladder. Let's make a run for it. Rescue the king! Hell yeah! We got it! Yeah, it's not a, an extremely impressive game. Um, I guess it's good to pass the time. I would definitely recommend it on mobile more than PC. It's sort of pretty. I mean, uh-oh, we lose. Wank. King is dead. I would definitely recommend... Um, Badlands or the like more than more than this game But it it's okay for what it is and see there. I was definitely behind that fucking That wall before that fellow was alerted That doesn't seem quite fair do it All right, just don't look over here And uh, yeah, I seem to be a little stuck. What the fuck is going on? What the fucking fuck? is going on in this game. This is uh, why it's taken me so long to get a review up, just because I'm quite frustrated. <laughs> quite frustrated with the game. Go ahead, walk over there. So I can get caught again. Fucking assholes. I'm not quite sure what to do. I assume I'm going to uh, push this barrel or something. That seems like a good idea. Well, I'm up here now. So I won't get caught. I said push the barrel. You fuck. Alright, he wants to do this one first. 
Nope, nope. Can't do it. Right, the elevator. Oh, and push the barrel into the elevator. I got you now. Just uh, a little bit of puzzling. There's 30 levels in this game, which makes it not uh, exceedingly long. But that's kind of nice. Alright, now we could do this. Wait, I want that guy to be under it. Yeah. Bam! You're dead, fucker. That's how we do. Then I should, like, grab the gun or something. Kill the executioner. Then you you win the game, right? No more kings are going to be executed. Because you executed the executioner. What a twist. So, uh, there we go. That's level five. Level six. We got two guards now to take care of. That's not going to be good. I'm sure I'm not going to be having a fun time with that. Oh, God. Shit. Shit stick. Can I just, like, climb up a little bit? Nope. Dude's gonna catch me. A lot of trial and error in this game. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to do what I do. But we're just trying the best that we can for now. God damn. Really a frustrating game. Something I'm not too impressed with. Um... The art style is okay, but I've just seen it done so many times before. And I couldn't seem to click on the fucking ladder to get myself down, down, and uh, behind the whatever, this wall, which is uh, what I assume I'm supposed to be doing. Fuck everything, man. <laughs> Not an enjoyable title, especially uh, for the price. I, you know, I could see myself paying 99 cents or something for this game. But, um, yeah, if you really want uh, a twitchy game about stealth, there's a lot better ones. Shoving this game into the uh, French Revolution doesn't really make it that much better, you know? It did catch my attention, <clears throat> but it's definitely not able to hold it for any extended period of time. So, got caught again. Oh my god, I hate everything. This is just, this is just poop. It's a bunch of poop, I say. And I try not to judge games too harshly, you know? I try and be fair. Alright, I'll wait for this guy to turn. At least now we're fucking making a little progress. Somewhat. We're gonna stand on this too. At the same time as the fella. Oh, but he can still see me from behind this... This fucking wall. I guess it's in the, the background or something like that. I'm not sure I understand completely what's going on here. And he tried to crawl down the, the wrong ladder. Even the, the programming, the auto-pathing is uh, not great. Definitely not great. Please stop. It's very specific. You gotta click the top of the ladder in order to uh, climb down the correct ladder. I don't know. This just seems uh, a little convoluted to me. Alright, wait for this guy to turn. And... go! He's gonna turn around again, isn't he? Go, go, go! Go, you fuck! You stupid shit! Ass dick! Ugh! As you can see, making a little progress, but definitely not enough to keep me engaged in any sort of way. Um, it's just an exercise in frustration, which is fine. I play a lot of games that are extremely frustrating. Cuphead comes to mind, but uh, unlike Cuphead, you don't really get any feeling of satisfaction over completing the levels. So, overall, I'd say definitely give this one a pass. I mean, I'm definitely not going to be completing it. Once I finish this review, uninstall, without a doubt. It's uh, not worth the time, the energy, the money. I apologize to the devs, because I really do like uh, the art style. Although the art style is just a bit overdone as well, you know. You can play Badlands or something like that and uh, get a similar experience. So, I don't know. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse, but um, yeah. It's on the bad side of good, you know. Not something that I would recommend to my friends. If I did recommend it to my friends, they'd probably... Uh, They'd probably come to me and be like, what the fuck, Dayton? What happened? 
I did complete level 6, but not after uh, any short amount of time. Which I guess is good, you don't want to be able to complete all 30 levels in the first try. That ain't right. You know that ain't right with a friend of mine. Oh, I gotta wait for that guy to step on the step on the button. Fuck around, y'all gonna make me push the button. All right, up the ladder and get caught again. I don't know. I don't have the patience or the inclination to continue playing this game. It's kind of nice set in the French Revolution, but it's it's not going to teach you anything except uh, that little blurb at the beginning about the guillotine. So definitely give this game a pass. Uh, not my favorite. Not my favorite entry in my Steam library. But uh, we had to give it a try and warn the world that it exists. If you see it and you're like, ooh, French Revolution, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'm going to end it here. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this title. Um, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode and my mini analysis. A lot of my episodes go to like 30 minutes, so maybe you'll be uh, grateful for the shorter one, or maybe uh, you'd like a little longer. If you would like a little longer, let me know. I might uh, subject myself to, again to this title for you. If it's really, really warranted, if like a bunch of people are like, you have to play some more. Uh... But I don't think anybody's going to say that. You can pretty much see from the video what the game is all about. And I'm sure it gets a little more complicated and shit like that. But um, overall, I bet it's just uh, more frustration. Which I'm not not prepared to deal with. Not today. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Anyways, friends. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Viva La Roy. I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. I will see you in the next one with a new game, a better game, almost guaranteed. <laughs> and until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, Viva La